All right, are you ready? We're only 26 days away from celebrating the 100th birthday of the Greeley Stampede. Soon everything is going to be the mystery and the magic of celebrating our great Western heritage. Today we have a very special event for you. We're going behind the scenes at Island Grove with Todd and Teresa, who will tell you all the new features that you can expect this year at the Greeley Sampede. So hang in and come visit with Todd and Teresa. Well, welcome to the Greeley Stampede. This place will be transformed into the largest event in Northern Colorado. Our Western heritage is what this is all about. Um, as we pan around, around here, we can show you a few things that we're doing and how the, the whole event has evolved over the years. Uh, off to the end of the east end of the arena, you can see we've got a brand new stage coming in and it's permanent. Our old stage is sitting back there. We used to have to trail it in and trail it out in between concerts and rodeos. This little building back here is a $2.5 million addition to Island Grove. It is gonna be state of the art. We'll bring in entertainers that they can perform and we don't have to put up a lot of extra stuff. It's all there. Um, it's really gonna be a nice venue for the stampede, bringing our artists in. Uh, it's gonna accommodate them so much better than what we've ever had in the past. And what we had in the past was great. But as the event grows, as everything grows around us with our community, we want to give back, and this is one way that we did this. Todd, excuse me, but is this going to be ready for this year? Cross your fingers. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, we're going to be on a deadline, but uh, it will be ready for this year. Awesome. And then some other things that we've got going on up above here is our sky boxes. Um, they hadn't been touched in a few years, quite a few years. So as you can see, there's some renovation going on up there. We're spending approximately $300,000 on that up there. Uh, new HVAC systems, we're in closing the sky boxes. Uh, new restrooms, a commercial kitchen, uh, fixed our elevators so they work properly. So it was a long time coming but that's going to be a very nice addition to the stampede to our box holders um, that uh, it's it's just more comfortable up there now and it it needed to be done which we're glad we could be a part of that so we're crossing our fingers on that project also that's two projects that we have going on this year we've got some that we're future looking at doing down the road but one event at a time and we want to make sure we've got everything in place at that point in time. Uh, we're standing on a viewing deck, which was done a couple years ago, which is really nice. If we look around here to the back side, we've got our rodeo pins, which were all redesigned a couple years ago. And those were put in mainly for the safety of the animals, uh, which are athletes that are brought in for the rodeos. Also for our contestants and the public. So the viewing's a lot better. Uh, it's a lot safer environment uh, than it was years ago. But so that's another thing that we've done here in the last few years to help improve what we've, where we're at and what we've done to get here. So Todd, it's almost rodeo time. Yep. This rodeo has grown to a national attention. Tell me what it takes to bring big name I mean, we're just a little town of Greeley. So what is it taking to get these big name rodeo dudes <laughs> here? Cowboys. Yeah. yeah, there you go, yeah. I want a cowboy. You know, that's a great question. The, uh, 
The Greeley Stampede is in the top 25 rodeos in the nation. I didn't know that. Yes. Uh, which that didn't happen overnight. Yeah. We've worked hard. We've had a lot of past committee uh, rodeo chairmen that have put a lot of work into that. Our current chairman, Sean Mills, uh, is ex-rodeo. He rodeoed for 25 years. And he's put his heart and soul into building this to where it is today. Plus our past chairmen have done the same thing. Uh, every contestant has to be part of the PRCA. Oh. Okay, they just can't ride in here and, hey, I wanna do it. No, you've gotta register through the PRCA to be a part of this event. And we leave a few spots open for our local cowboys and cowgirls that wanna be participate. But being a top 25 rodeo and paying the money that we do to our contestants for winning adds to the pot adds to that final goal of theirs, which is Vegas. Right on. The National Rodeo Finals in Vegas. The better they do here, the more money that's here that adds into it, just increases their chances. So we built this up to where they want to come wow. here and be a part of our rodeo, which we've kind of redesigned it. Our shoots have been redesigned. Our timed events have been redesigned to bring it up to the next level that we need to be to be in that top 25. And we want to stay there and we want to continue to grow. And in the past, we've run, won the outdoor rodeo event of the year. And that's voted on by the contestants. Oh. They're the ones that say, hey, you know, you guys did a great job. We love what you're doing, the hospitality, the, the safety features that you guys have put in for our safety and our livestock and our animal safety. So. In a nutshell, that's what you do along with everything else that you see around here is what you do to bring in the high caliber contestants that we want here. Wow. Because we want to see what you're seeing here. If you go to Vegas, we want to see, have you see the same faces same. in Vegas. Soon you'll hear all the hustling and the bustling. You'll see the kids' faces painted up running up and down the Carnival Islands. Everything will be lit up. There's just magic in the air. So I hope that everybody is as excited about June 23rd, the Greeley Stampede, as we are.